We're, we're definitely uh, live, guys. We've been no, live you're the still, last twenty minutes. This is still Which listed as an me. as an offline channel on my. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no. We're live, guys. We're live. But I can't get Twitch to do. I don't know to trust. Do. I don't really believe. Guys, we've it says been it's live. It's offline to me. That's no, we're we're definitely live. Well, I, and now Siri's back. Shut up! Stop, Siri. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We are live. You. Oh, okay. Well, now, okay. Well, now, now we believe you, Justin. Uh huh. Now that Bobby's uh -huh. confirmed <laughs> Thanks, so, thanks, Bobby. We're live and hey, at a distance. You're welcome. So far, uh, as I can tell. Justin, there's a big black box covering pizza pizza dragon over there. Correct. That is uh, that is a just in case Proctor decides to hop on. That's okay. a placeholder for Proctor. Gotcha. Okay. All right, well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Bones 5 live update here on Twitch exclusively until it shows up somewhere else. Um, thank you for joining us this Friday. Really appreciate it. I'm joined today with Bobby Jackson and Rhonda Bender. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on the Bones 5 live update. Happy to. Oh, you're welcome. So today... We're going to hit the intro. Hit the intro, Justin. Okay, Rod. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. So that's an awesome intro. You know, every time I see it, I think that's so cool. You know what? We really should be giving the uh, the gentleman who did that credit every time we show this. And I forget to look it up every time. Man, I've forgotten his name. But if he's watching, thank you, because it's a killer intro um with the music and everything so cool so cool um so today on bones the bones five live update for friday july 24th 2020 we're going to take a deeper dive into the work of bobby jackson you guys excited <laughs> i'm excited Ron, are you hold back Ron the excitement frozen. everyone yeah Rhonda's frozen my... <laughs> she's frozen Jamie, with yeah. excitement yeah yeah, frozen with excitement. Oh, I, he kind of he froze up. For I'm me. moving on mine again. Yeah, you're good now. You're good now. Okay. Baby Yoda made it work. He said, "Make it work." Um, <laughs> so cool. So um, for Bones Five, uh, we you know a lot of people. Um, we had a lot of our artists sculpt a lot of stuff. I mean, it was the biggest project for a Kickstarter we've ever done. It was like 600 pieces. It was a lot. Um, and uh, you know Jason and Gene and Bob and uh, and Julie, uh, Chris Lewis, uh, Christine Van Patten, uh, Kevin and Daryl. Everyone really chipped in and did a lot of work. Uh, I think Bobby, it's possible. I think you may have done the line share of the sculpting in this thing. I I, I don't really know. Um, today we're going to take a look at the uh, dungeon, a big look at the Dungeon Dwellers uh, expansion, which almost every bit of the of the stuff in there is yours. True. Okay, and <laughs> except for uh, Julie did the rats um, and the dragon, that awesome little dragon on the treasure pile, and Bob did the cleric, and he did um, Sir Rictus, the skeleton, and let's see, I'm probably forgetting something else that they did, and um, I don't know what it is. But, yeah, the, the bulk of it, that was mostly your stuff in there, so we're going to take a good, good look at that. Uh, plus some stuff from the uh, uh, Darkest Depths expansion. Um, yeah, and maybe a couple other odds and ends uh, uh, that we're going to show. So, Justin, we'll just let you just take it. We'll just do this alphabetical by the by the file name. We'll just go through these one at a time, and we'll just review them. And, Rhonda, you can jump in and uh, tell me what – tell us what you think and uh, what you think how these things are going to paint up. Bobby, got an interesting anecdote about how these things were uh, designed. You can just – Jump right in. Yeah? All right. I'll jump in. All right. All right. Here we go. Like we said, uh, from the Dungeon Dwellers expansion. Um, now, these are what we call, uh, our partners over overseas, calls, they call these the PU prints, the polyurethane prints. Um, they're resins, basically. They're just, they're just resin castings that they make the, the tools from. And these are pretty much what the uh, bones five uh, Dungeon Dweller expansion models are going to look like. They're going to look a lot like this. And I have been so impressed with the uh, the Bones Black Dungeon Dweller models. The, the detail, you guys can see the details on these. They're so sharp. 
Um, super impressed. What do you think about the uh, the PUs there, Bobby? They look great. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed that these these models are a little bit older, and they have the the hair that Rhonda hates. <laughs> mm. Hates Rhonda. is a strong word. It's a strong. I have word. since corrected that, Rhonda. <laughs> okay. Well. So, Rhonda, no, just, you prefer a, more, a little more smoother hair? Yeah, style? she doesn't um, like those hair was thick, just, defined locks. Yeah, the really deep crevices between the locks. Well, for those of us who she can't even see the tip that. of our paintbrush, uh, this makes painting <laughs> a lot easier for us. Yes, it probably does. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but for those, people, those people with talent, they hate it. Yes, people with actual hate, talent. Hate is a strong word. Okay. Now, uh, one of these right. has actually already been painted, hasn't it? The Plague Doctor? Yes. Didn't Jen yes. paint that? The one with Jen Greenwald the painted the uh, hate hair. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the female Plague Doctor, <laughs> Jen Greenwald painted those, and uh, the male and the female, but only the female here. Man, and she just killed the paint job on, on, on those yeah, Plague Doctors, is, uh, as with everything yeah. else she does. Um, that was killer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, the one now the uh, plague doctor's out in metal in the dungeon dwellers line. The barbarian though, he's no he's not available in any other form yet except for in the bones five expansion. Now he may become a metal figure later on. Same thing with the female halfling. That's a brand new figure too. She's never been out before. Um, you guys might you recognize. Make, you should make that barbarian in metal. He's cool. He's so cool. He's super cool. Um, the female halfling is really cute. Uh, but I, I really like the way all the detail game. really sticks out. Yeah, um, those are really really great looking figures. So, um, yeah, okay. So yeah, those are in the Dungeon Dwellers expansion. You're going to see a lot of Dungeon Dwellers in this update because it's a lot of Bobby sculpting in, in that uh, in that set. So yeah, great stuff. I'm I'm super happy with these guys. All right, what's next there, Justin? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the evil sorcerer, the hippie so, sorcerer. Yeah, he's barefoot. Um, yeah, he's barefoot. So, Bobby, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up for a I'm gonna look for something in my email real quick. I want you to sort of vamp and talk about this guy just for a few minutes, okay? Well, he is a direct ripoff of the old original <laughs> Dungeon Dwellers Evil Sorcerer, which I think is a really cool figure. Did Max Carr do that guy? Uh, you would imagine, right? And Max did those. Yeah, I, I think he did that, the original guy. And I think it's a, those are, they have such personality. And I just blatantly ripped it off. It's essentially the same figure, just, you know, modernized. It's very similar pose. He's barefoot, even has the little skull and, and yeah. you know, casting a <clears throat> little spell. The cool thing about this guy is that, like you said, he's just a, a direct. Uh, I don't say ripoff, but um, it's a ripoff. Yeah, uh, it's a ripoff. <laughs> uh, Reaper Reaper owns the model. Reaper owns the original model, so it's not like we are, you know, sneaking around doing this. I told Bobby, Bobby, sculpt that guy. <laughs> Bobby, yeah, sculpt that guy. And he's cool. So we wanted to sculpt him because he's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for uh, just to let you guys know, um, this was not scheduled. This model was not scheduled to be in the Bones Five Dungeon Dwellers expansion. Um, we added him in at the, uh, probably around, I guess, February, March, April, somewhere in line, around that time frame. When he, okay. when you finished sculpting him, I thought, you know what? You've got to have this guy in the dungeon dwellers box because he is so essential to Crypt of the Sorcerer, the old heritage game. He is the sorcerer in the Crypt of the Sorcerer. Yeah, he's the evil sorcerer, All right? Now in, um, in the, uh, the, uh, uh, the heritage game, he didn't have a name. So I named him, I gave him a name. Because he needed a name other than just evil sorcerer, so I named him Erebus Nalus. So uh, just for the hell of it, I don't know if you hate it. Oh well, sorry, it's, that's his name. Um, now, if you go to ReaperCon, or if you don't, we're not coming to Reaper, we're not going to ReaperCon this year, but if you picked up the ReaperCon swag box this year, you're going to get a metal copy of this guy in your swag box, and his metal version will be on sale in October uh, after ReaperCon. So. Um, he's one of the, he's the, the only figure that's not going to be available during ReaperCon. He'll be available in October after ReaperCon. So, um, if you want to get this guy, 
um, in metal. You can get him in October when he, he goes live. And he'll be a permanent figure in the Dungeon Dwellers line. You can get any time uh, in, in uh, metal. Now, again, he'll be in – he's a free figure in your uh, swag box. For, uh, I'm sorry. He's a free figure in your Dungeon Dwellers expansion. If you picked up the Dungeon Dwellers expansion through your Bones 5 uh, pledge. So pretty cool. Yeah, and like I said, just I want to reiterate again, Bobby, that you put the skull by the foot just like the original metal model that Max Carr did. That's right. Now, yeah. mine has a little poorer personal hygiene. His beard and hair look a little more unkempt, and he's got these long, creepy fingernails that, I mean, yeah, just... You can see it on his thumb and maybe his toes as well. Out. Yeah, he needs, yeah. He, needs, he needs some self-care. Need some clip, some Listen, some uh, some manicuring. What yeah, I really like about this guy is that it's a relatively simple sculpt, but the evil really comes through because of the little details like that. He's super cool. He's super cool. Um, I evil. I really huh? What He's evil. He is evil. All right, Bobby said it. So it must be evil. All right, Justin. FYI, while we're going to the next picture, I sent you. I forwarded you an email with another Bobby sculpt that's been painted. Uh, we can. I'd like to do that at the end of the show if we can review those. Um, uh, but that'll give you that'll give you time to to fool with it. Okay. It's a forwarded. Email. Okay. All right. So what's next? Who we got next? Next, Justin. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. There are the um, the fighters from Dragon Slayers. These two characters are going to be included in the Dragon Slayers um, power up that we added just a few months ago. Um, you can see there's the Armored Warrior and the Female Barbarian. There's also included in the set are a Bob Rodolphe Wizard and a Sandra Garrity Dragon. But these are the two that Bobby sculpted. So, Bobby, Bobby, uh, tell us about these guys. I, I can't remember the name of the guy on the left. What's, uh, what's his name again? Kane Swiftblade. Kane Swiftblade. Yeah, that's right. Kane Swiftblade. And kind of then, an old, uh, that's... It was an earlier character that you just sort of reimagined. Yeah, it's a it's a cool old Sandy sculpt, and we just kind of superheroed him. Yeah, I didn't get a picture of and, the shield. Uh, the shield. And yeah, that's the guy with the owl. Yeah, he's got he's a got stylized owl. owl on his shield. Super cool. Um, yeah, and then that's not Red Sonya. Right. The right. <laughs> she's just a Frank Thorne. Yeah, and she's a chick. Barbarian girl. Uh, yeah, that's not a ripoff because we don't own that IP. That is right. a um, that's an homage to Frank Thorne, and only Frank yes. Thorne. Um, that's right. And oh, yeah, Auburn Vanya or something. What? what did you I say said is her right? name Auburn Vanya or something. <laughs> it's uh, Blue Maxine. Blue, <laughs> Blue Maxine. Maxine. Blue Maxine. Okay. So I know that some people are like, "Oh, J. Mill Bikini." You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's just, you know, it's an homage Isn't that to an scale old mail? school. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a, it's not even yeah. that. It's kind of it's a scale mail bikini, Ron. It's a scale mail yeah. bikini. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not a chain mail. It's so it's okay. It's it doesn't it's change so cool. as much. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we do armored thing. We do females and males of all types, and, and this is just one of those. And we like it. We think it's cool. I think it's a great, great looking sculpt. And great Farrah Fawcett oh, hair. Yeah, it's big time Farrah Fawcett hair. And uh, if this figure doesn't appeal to you because of her silly armor, then don't purchase it. Mail it There's back. a solution. That's if right. you order the option, the Dragon Slayer's option, and you don't like it, throw it in the trash. Mail right. it back to Reaper. That's right. Whatever you want to do. Give it to a homeless person. <laughs> whatever you want to do. All right. Most so those are the homeless person. Those are, those are the, <laughs> the dragon. Here are the figures from the Dragon Slayers option. What's next, Justin? Microphone is muted, I realized. Uh, I really like that blue Maxine figure. They're both she great figures. Fun. Ah. Oh, cool. Here are some, yeah, here are some goblins. Now, More I didn't goblins. show the. Yeah. Uh, I didn't show the other goblin. There are two goblins on wolves. This is just the one goblin with the axe on the wolf that Bobby did. And then you also have, now you see the goblin archer and the goblin with the mace on the left. Those two characters, those two models are available in metal in Dungeon Dwellers right now. You can go buy those in metal. But these other uh, models are not available in any form right now. You can only get them in the Bones 5 uh, Dungeon Dwellers expansion. Um, if you've got goblins 
and you need more goblins, these are the goblins to get. Yeah, those are cool. Uh, my favorite one is the crossbowman. Yeah, he's cool. Very good. I kind of like the Very little good. kneeling guy with the halberd. He's cool, too. Yeah, yeah. He's good. I think, Justin, there's some more pictures of these guys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's just a kind of a close-up of the warriors. There's the kneeling guy, the guy with the axe, which wasn't in the group shot. Um, and there we go. Cool. And then next, and then there's the two uh, archer guys. Yeah, those guys are great. Those are good-looking. Man, those are those are some uh, inspired goblin styles. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are goblins. Yeah, Classic they're so cool. Vintage goblins. Yeah, and I can't wait to paint them orange. Because that's what the goblins right. should be colored. <laughs> they should be orange. Isn't there a paint for that even? Yes, there is, Ron. Thanks for mentioning that, that the 9974 Dungeon Dwellers uh, paint set has a goblin flesh color in it. That's now, do you have a uh, do you have a picture of the other wolf and a rider? I, I didn't. I didn't get a picture of it today. But there is the one with the what is he armed with a spear? Or, I forget a what he's scimitar, got. Scimitar, I think. I think oh, that's scimitar. Did. He's right over there in my my shelf of personal things that I hoard. Um, but uh, I didn't get a picture of him. <laughs> I was just sort of pulling. Um, love these guys. Love these goblins. Again, all part of the Dungeon Dwellers uh, expansion for Bones Five. All right, who we got next? And now that now that you got a crossbowman, you can make a Frostgrave warband out of those goblins. There you go. Oh, there cool. you go. The, yeah. The, so he, the, he, the hench winch. Yeah. So, you know what? These guys are so cool. They're just they flat so out cool. adventurers on their own. They're not – they don't need to be considered hench, hench people. They're just – No, 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 no. No if, you, no, if you switch back to the Kane Swiftblade guy, that's mm -hmm. the leader of the party, and he's hired that's these true. flunkies. <laughs> that's true. That's true. She's, the, the, again, the crossbowman or the crossbow woman, um, the arquebus, arquebusier. She is great. Um, yeah, but the little um, what do you call the uh, torchbearer? The um, that's a link girl. Link girl. It's a link girl. Link. I don't get the uh, reference, but that's just what they're called. The the torch, torch. the the word for torch is link. Hmm. She's a torch girl. She, so she's the link girl. She's going to carry your torches. She's barefoot too. She must be kin to the evil she's sorcerer. She's poor. She's underpaid. She she's earned a, her shoes yet. That's right. Yeah. These guys turned She's out really, fun. really good. And these are a, a power-up that you can add onto your pledge. You get these two plus, let's see the next picture. Um, you're going to get also these two. Man, the, the girl with the uh, the Viking helmet and then the, and the I love the her so much. I'm calling She's, dibs on that one. All right, Rhonda <laughs> calls dibs. She be She's I great. I might get something now and then. Yeah, these... I oh, mean, those scales are so sharp. They're gonna they're gonna look so good. Um, these are gonna paint up so well. The lantern on the pole that's just that's killer, man. Those are really great ones. Now, the one figure that we don't have a photograph of it's because we don't have the uh, the PU sample yet is the wheelbarrow wheelbarrow girl. Uh, yeah. Don't have that one yet, but that's that's Too a cool. Bad. One I know we don't have it yet. It's on the way. Uh, we'll probably yeah. show that next time. Yeah, yeah. These are just—they have a lot of character. All of these guys have so much character. So, I'm really, really, really pleased with the way uh, they turned out and the, the job you did on them, Bobby. Um, they, and we have they, another just, shot. Of, they match up really well with the guys. Which we haven't gotten the guys yet either. We'll do a big group shot at oh. some point. Oh, are we going to do the guys? Uh, when we get them, but we don't have them yet. The PUs. Ah, okay. Great. All right, Justin. And we got a group shot of the of the women all together. There we are. There they are. Nice. All yeah, standing together. Cool. Oh, it's a good looking. That's set. too bad we we don't have the wheelbarrow girl. Yeah, I think that's really funny. Bring a wheelbarrow into your dungeon. I know. What a great idea. I love it. It's I think optimistic. It is. It is very. We're going to bring out some loot. Either that, or <laughs> you can bring back the corpses of your comrades. Exactly. And as it turns <laughs> out, ones the ones that um, these particular. Uh, Henchmen, henchwomen, they were successful. They have a wheelbarrow full of loot. So that's right. They did good. They did very Either good. Either that or it's tribute. Something like that. Paying to get out of the dungeon. 
All right. That's right. All right, let's see who else, who else we got. Dragon. Uh, oh, boy. Ooh. Um, I don't want to sound like a suck-up. I really don't want to sound like a suck-up. But suck I'm going to sound up, like a Because these are the coolest kobolds ever. They are the coolest <laughs> kobold figures ever made in the history of figures. They're pretty cool. They're very good. Then there's a paint for that, too. <laughs> Rhonda, thanks for bringing that up. That's just it's like... <laughs> What a coincidence! Yes, there is a there is a cobalt flesh color in the Bones Dungeon Dweller paint set. You can get your Goblin awesome. flesh and your and your cobalt flesh all together. Um, and I'll also ma mention that the cobalt Reaper cobalt line has a little crossbowman, which also makes sufficient number to make a Frostgrave warband. Ah, interesting. Yes, I like so the way gonna... that the, the little lackadaisical spearman's got just a dagger. Strapped to a pole for a for a spear. <laughs> Very cobalt. Yeah, he's, the, he's the apprentice cobalt. <laughs> There's the crossbowman. Yep. There Very he is. Cool. So you had your warriors, and then these are your sort of your archer types, your distance Missile fire. Yeah. I yeah, like how the little fire. slinger has a little extra piece of ammunition in his hand. Mm-hmm. Um. And then these guys, uh, the 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 um, the kobold with the, the the mace from the last photo, and then the the, uh, the slinger here. Those are available in the Dungeon Dwellers line in metal right now. You can purchase those as metal figures. Again, these are all going to be plastic for um, the Dungeon Dwellers expansion. So the archer and the crossbow are two new figures, um, and then the other ones are new as well. These none of these other ones are available in any other form right now. Now those will probably end up being main, being in, in, in metal at some point. Um, they're just not uh, there right now. And then combined with the, the, the models from Bones 4, the Kobolds from Bones 4, you're going to have the most killer Kobold army ever. Yeah. Now we got to do a bunch of dead ones since they're Kobolds. <laughs> you're right. Some Kobold casualties. Yes. But that's how they look together. Those look great, man. Those are great. They're they just, fun. I'm really, really tickled with the way all these turned out. I'm really, really pleased with those. So, um, Cobalt's very now, are these Are these in the Dungeon Dweller expansion? What are these in? All, all these, everything we've seen so far, except for the uh, Dragon Slayer models, are all in the Dungeon Dweller expansion. So if you get that Dungeon Dweller's box, I think it's 48 figures, I think, something like that. Wow. Man, that's, I think well, that's all my favorite. all the hench favorite. people are in there, too. No, 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 they're not. No? Oh, they're not. Oh, you're right, you're right, yeah. We showed those. They're not in there, too. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, they should have been. They're really cool. What are they? Yeah. They're an option. They're a power-up by themselves. They weren't even in the Kickstarter. They were after the Kickstarter. So if, you, if you're if you watching this for the first time or seeing this and you didn't know about power-ups, these are optional things that we've added to the uh, pledge manager that weren't in the Kickstarter. And you can only get them, well, you can get them later, but get them now at a, at a great price in the uh, pledge manager. Those are called power-ups. Lots of cool power-ups uh, in Bones 5. All right, cool. Kobolds. Goblins. Man, what? A, how could it get better? Looky here. Oh, cool. Look at the mermaids. The, mer, the merfolk. Oh, yeah. yeah, those guys are really great. The um, I was worried about the scales maybe being too tiny, but look at them. They're nice. You can dry brush those things all day. Oh, Yeah. Um, now that's where 3D shines. It's stuff like scales and feathers. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Those so these are the, the the Merfolk Royal Guard. So if you go into the Merfolk City and uh, Rhonda, we haven't written about that in our Savage Coast book yet, have we? The, the Merfolk. Not yet. Uh, if you go into the Merfolk City, uh, you're going to be the 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 guards and the police and the the, the militia of the city are going to look like those guys. There's the Merfolk King and his daughter. Um, so he's got his fancy Cthulhu scepter and um, things like this. Bobby, explain the hair, why it's doing what it's doing. They're underwater, Ron. It's floating. <laughs> well, Bobby, I know this. <laughs> I uh, was just kind of giving you something to talk about. <laughs> oh, well, you'll they're 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 submerged and their hair is drifting in the the liquid. So right, the right. liquid, everyone. very convincingly. The liquid, the liquid of the ocean. Yes. So that was the thing when we when we were going over these guys. We didn't want their hair to being down. You needed it sort of 
floating around like hair would do, right? So, right, exactly. So it's all floating around. Um, so it's all floating around. These are the Merfolk yeah. Rangers right here uh, with their yeah. harpoons and stuff. So uh, I would imagine these guys as outliers around the Merfolk City who sort of spy and, and yeah. hunt for the, the Merfolk King. Yeah, they're the scouts. The scouts. He's got a cool shell uh, pauldron. She's uh, she just kind of got a, a, um, just some wraps, I guess. But she's got some talismans around her, her waist. So does he. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rhonda, how uh, – how would you, how would you paint these? These would be very fun to paint. Use some blues and greens on the the body and the fins and stuff, and probably up in the hair too, since they are sea dwelling creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then contrasting colors on the shells and the pauldron. You could have some fun with these. Yeah. Dry brush. I'd look at real out. fish for examples. You could yeah. still look at real fish for examples to dry brush the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah, dry brush the crap. <laughs> Good, because I would need to do that. Um, so, and now these are in the uh, Darkest Depths expansion. Um, so these aren't the Dungeon Lords, these are Darkest Depths. Uh, and you get all six, and there's another merfolk that we did not show because she has uh, exposed breasts, and we, we can't show those on Twitch, but um, there is a sixth, uh, excuse me, a seventh merfolk, uh, uh, merfolk seductress, I forget what she's called, but yeah. Um, but the rest of them are, are fully covered and armed and ready to just kick some ass. So um, very happy with, with all these guys. So really cool. And, you know, maybe we'll do more, more Merfolk in the future, depending on uh, the success of these guys. Bobby, you up for another Merfolk or two? Oh, yeah. I'll do as many of these as you like. Okay. They're a lot of fun. Right, you heard it here first. All right, cool. All right, let's see who's next. I think it's the we enemy of the Merfolk. Some, oh. we, need to, we need to do some evil Merfolk. Yeah. Yeah, we do. That would be fun. Now, what do we have here, Bobby? I forget what they're called, but they're evil uh, aquatic ogres. Yeah, marrow. What are they? Marrow, marrow. That's right. M R R O W. Marrow. M E R O W. Yes, these are the marrow. Uh, talk about the, uh, the 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 drapery and stuff on these guys. Uh, it's scum and uh, algae and seaweed and noxious ogre effluvium. <laughs> so the, uh, those are like uh, uh, fish nets. This, they sort of drape. Is that what that is? Maybe, or seaweed that they've got draped it's around? Seaweed, them? And scum. It's to kind of invoke a bad smell. Okay. Yeah, you should think about how bad these guys must smell. I love these guys. I love these guys so much. They're so cool. Um, we did one. You sculpted one for bones. Two, three, three. I think, I think it was three. Yeah, I think it was three. And and I really wasn't as much. He was really cool, but I really wasn't happy with the way he turned out after he came back from production. He was a little bit too uh, light in the textures. Kind of yeah, a little soft. So you sort of bumped that up on these guys. Yeah, and I think uh, we just got better cavities. It looks like there was some on the first guy. He just was kind of soft and I think that a lot of that softness came from China yeah so uh, but hopefully these guys are not gonna be there these guys are gonna be bones black as well these are in the darkest depths expansion with the merfolk that you guys just saw yeah, that, so that's really crisp looking yeah these guys are great yeah. these are really great I think that the bone I think the production models are gonna look are a lot like these but yeah the depth is great the texture's good yeah uh, yeah pretty happy Rod, what do you and, think and this is. I'm sorry. I think you could totally dry brush the crap out of these. Good. Or even do it the other way. I mean, you know, whichever way you want to go. <laughs> what were we gonna say a minute ago about the uh, Murfo, uh, the marrow Bobby? I don't know. Rhonda distracted me. <laughs> Wake up, Rhonda. Distracting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, all right. Here we go again. I don't want to be a suck up. Don't want to be a suck up. But if you need orcs, if you need orcs for your D and D game, or whatever your favorite role playing game is, I think these are the ones you got to get. I love these orcs. I love these orcs. Yeah, look at cool. the, they're great. They're cool. They're pretty cool. And look at the little guy. The archer has a like a little trophy hook where he's yeah, going to hang hook. your head. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That is cool. He's going to shoot you with a poisoned arrow and saw your head off. 
and hang it from his belt. All the textures have come through on these really, really well. The fur texture on the on the uh, the tabards, the chainmail, um, uh, all those things. Like I said, the buttons, the the, buck, the buckles, the stitches on this on his hat. Um, yeah, yeah, they're these are great. They're great little guys. Need, I'm going to need more orcs. Yeah, for sure. They're super fun. We need to do more. We need an Is orc. Is there a pink color for these guys too? Well, Ron, it's a good thing you asked me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we planned it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can get your orc skin tellers in the what? Which box set? Uh, Dungeon Dwellers, I think. Yeah, there Expansion. you go. Set. For paint. bones, paints. Yeah, yeah, for bones, yes. The bones, Dungeon Dwellers paints. 99.74, I think is the number. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, these guys are great. Let's see the next picture, Justin. It's What is it? It's going to be more orcs. It's the other two orcs. Ooh. So these are, the, these are the leaders. The champion uh, and the captain. Yeah, these guys are great. Um the, the 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 captain pointing saying go get those guys and of course the champion looking the opposite direction, um, yeah, but it's okay he'll get Where's somebody. That elf, which elf? <laughs> Ron's he'll never experienced this kind of leadership. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the orc captain, the orc captain, you can't see it, but he's only got one eye. He's got an eye patch, right? Yeah. You don't remember? <laughs> no, I have no I have no <laughs> recollection at all. He has one eye. Just happens to be, you know, you know, that's just what a coincidence. He only has one eye because certain orc character types only have one eye in uh, certain role playing games. Um, well, he love these tough. guys. He's survived uh, a lot of scrapes. The guy, yeah, he's a successful orc. orc guy. That's right. He's a successful orc, which means not yeah. being dead. Um, I, uh, Ian painted the. Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm just saying, I like the helmet on the champion with the one rhino horn. The you know, he's just got one yeah. horn in the front. I think it's, it's cool. Some good looking guys here. Look, really good looking. Really guys. aggressive. Ian Markin painted the uh, orc that was one of the free dungeon dweller orcs from uh, 2018. Um, Ian Markin painted the orc, uh, and man, he just we don't have a picture of it, but he just nailed it. He just 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 killed yeah. it. Man, it looks so good. And I said, Ian. Can you paint the other four? He's like, oh, I'm not painting more orcs. <laughs> not going to do it. <laughs> but, but these guys, going back to the Dungeon Dweller box, all five orcs are in the Dungeon Dwellers box. You're going to have kobolds, goblins, orcs uh, ready to go. You know, So if you have a, a basic dungeon game campaign, Dungeon Dwellers box you is all you're going to have. You got it. And you got an evil sorcerer too. All right, let's see who's next. Oh, there's Gene. What did he say? Oh, it's just it's another shot. There's the orc uh, captain and the archer together. I just, again, Bob, what caught my eye in these photos is the uh, the hook on the archer's belt and then yeah, the strap funny. on the captain's uh, gorget and his pauldron. It's just uh, these things yeah. just caught so many little details. So I, when I dress these guys, I dress them in raggedy leather and scraps of armor that have obviously been perfurated and bound to their bodies. Looks good. They yeah, look really so they're good. like, uh, you know, they're – it's ad hoc armor. Yeah. Yeah. These are kind of um, uh, inspired by uh, – um, Angus, Angus McBride. McBride. Yeah, Angus McBride did some really good stuff, and they're kind of insp inspired I, off I, of that. Yeah, I like the, the simian facial structure of Angus's orcs and those um, – I don't know. He, he had the the helmets tended to have a very shallow draft. Yeah, like those shell helmets. So that's kind of what yeah, I like a, went with. It's almost like you just took the, a piece of uh, metal and just pounded it into a basic kind of a basic bowl shape, and they go, "Here's your hat. Put it on, go." That's right. Those Good guys luck. are great. Try not to lose an eye. <laughs> just two, and one guy did. So whatever. One guy um, did. So all right. What's, what's next, Justin? Let me see here. I'm still editing the photo that you sent me. Huh? That's the it? photos you sent me? I'm still yeah, editing hold on. them, that's what I'm telling you. This is the nice. last one. Ah, okay. Ah. Let's Not see. Not feed succubus. 
there she is. This was, and now again, this was one of the ones, there was only a render of her in the Kickstarter. We've never seen a print or a casting or anything like that until today. It's the first time we've seen, and that's some of these other figures, same thing. This is in the Dungeon Dwellers box set as well. Um, and this kind of goes back to the Dungeon Dwellers, the Heritage models produced in the 80s, 70s, and 80s. Um, yes. They had a bunch of my models, yeah. Who took the photograph? I did. With my phone. Mm. What's okay, the problem? Cool. No, no <laughs> problem. She, she just looks particular. I mean, it's a knock kneed pose, but she looks particularly knock kneed in the photograph. Um, we could look at the render. It looks just like that, I think. Okay, cool. Well, I am not It's a little from wrong. above, and I I'm, think, is what it's doing. Um, I had or a maybe photo. she's just that knock kneed, and I don't remember. It could very well be. She's not me. Yeah, no, I think she's she's kind of uh, kind of that. Coquettish, not me, succubus look, you know. Yeah, but one knee is in front of the other. You know, she's got that. She's hip shot. One hip is lower, mm -hmm. and that knee is in front. And, and she's so, kind of got her her finger on her her uh, clavicle. Oh, it's her clavicle. Okay, thought maybe she was sort well, of pulling her. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. She's definitely a succubus. It's she's seductively fondling her clavicle, Ron. <laughs> you know, like I'll, you do. I find yeah. that hot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm a clavicle man. Um, All right. Yeah. There you go. There's the uh, the succubus, the guys. It, and then she's going to be in the dungeon dwellers box. If you needed uh, a seductive dungeon uh, dwelling succubus for your caverns of doom game, there you go. Mm. You got her right there. And Alas, she's she has they, hate air. Oh, she does. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I don't hate it. <laughs> you guys tell us to give you feedback, and then apparently uh, no. we are going to hear about the feedback forevermore. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. But that's just for fun. I really do appreciate the feedback. Okay. And you'll notice in later figures, I rectified the hate there. Yes. I think. But I you've also it. said other people have enjoyed the hair because of it working better with techniques like dry brushing. Yeah, well, and now since we're not going to be silly about this, um, I took what you said seriously about having more defined individual strands that really talented painters can can engage rather than just dry brush across big fat locks. So I've kind of tried to split the difference in the future, having defined locks but not these grand canyons between them, and then each lock being made up of multiple hair strands. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds delightful. See? Cool. I'm just trying to please Rhonda, Ron. Are you, <laughs> Ron, <laughs> Ron, are you ready for the uh, photos you sent me? Yeah, so, and this is the last, <clears throat> these are the last photos we have today. These are from the Greek Odyssey box expansion. Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to show the Twitch safe ones. Um, oh, looks great. great. Looks I, I great. Really can't show the. I hope you edited those with a. There we go. That's the only one I edited. Okay, I know cool. it looks so good. That's yeah, not those, hate hair. Those are snakes, Rhonda. Yeah, those are snakes. <laughs> I understand. I actually got to see this one during the uh, progress. Wow. So the painting. So um, that's cool. Good. So Bobby sculpted this Jen Greenwald, the, the talented Jen Greenwald painted this. And man, boy, did she knock it out of the park or what? Look at there. Yeah, that's yeah. super cool. Now and the that's one you a get really your... long tail. She was painting for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, no a lot kidding. of tails. <laughs> um, the, uh, the one you get in your Greek Odyssey box will not have a purple bar across its breast, so fear not. That's um, blue. Whatever. Uh, it's <laughs> calibrate your monitor, Ron. You're doing box art. I think it is <laughs> that might explain a whole lot, guys. So if you going forward, if something it's, looks a little off. There's a little look. There's a little violet in there. There's a little bit of purple uh, in there. No, that's 100 percent blue. Uh, okay, <laughs> I mean, I, that I is a how, how how big is that? That figure's big. Ex explain she is. how big that thing. I don't have, uh, I believe it's a 40, oh gosh, Bobby, how big is the base on that thing, do you recall? I don't have one. Uh, the, the, the print, the only print I had was 
No one can tell what those fingers that finger size is. Is it fifty? <laughs> a two inch base. Big old, it's a two inch base. Big old base. It's a two inch base. Um, uh, big old base. I don't know. Is yeah, it two inch. I believe it is. It's, I believe it's a two inch base. Um, and man, it looks. There's a question about whether she comes off the base. Uh uh-uh. uh Sorry. She does not come off the base. She's she is right there. Um, I believe now Permanently on the little column. Where did you where did you cut her, Bobby? I cannot remember. Yeah, I don't. She she probably got cut where her her snake body attaches to the base. She's probably cut right there. I I you know what? Once we send the models overseas, they actually have to do their own uh, cutting um, to make it work for the for the steel mold that we get produced. So she could be in multiple parts. I think she'll be a, uh, she'll have to be assembled when you when you get her in your Kickstarter expansion. So we don't I don't know to be honest. I, I don't know where she's cut anymore. Uh, she could be three or four parts for all I know. We'll find out here pretty yeah, soon. Several yeah. parts. Yeah. Because uh, there there's the body, and I think the bow hand is separate, or the bow arm. I mean, it may be cut right there at that armlet. You know that that yellow ornament, mm-hmm. and then her her she's cut there at the snake body below where you know almost at, right above where her knees would be if she had legs. Yeah, and I think you I could think see right there, right there, right beneath the quiver, uh, the bottom of the quiver. There's you see a line, a horizontal line. Now, I know it's painted there, but yeah. I think maybe, um, Jen disguised that line with some painting. And then I think the little rattlesnake rattle is also separate. Yeah, it was separate too on the print. Now this is a print that you're, you guys are seeing. This is a painted print. This is not a PU painted, a painted PU or, a, or anything like that. So um, the final model, there, you know, it's going to look different. Now I've seen photographs of the PU, um, and it looks pretty sharp. Remember, Bobby, how you and I were talking about how we we're kind of concerned about the, uh, the the scale texture might may or may not might translate. Be, yeah. Yeah, it might. Look we were good. thinking, uh, it might need a little more relief, but yeah. Well, I think it looks it looks, it looks pretty good, and I'll. Okay. I think uh, the photo should be on the the server, uh, but you and I can look at. It. But uh, yeah, anyway, very happy with the piece, uh, sculpting wise, and Jen just killed it on the painting. So, yeah, some good stuff, some really good stuff. So, well, that's about it. I think we've kind of reviewed everything we need to review today for the uh, the deep dive with Bobby Jackson. So, good job, Bobby. <laughs> yes, way to go, Bobby. Way to, way to sculpt, know, Bobby. Way to sculpt. Hey, I want I can show you guys right. some other stuff. Now, these are not in the Kickstarter, so I shouldn't be showing them because as because this is the Bones Five Kickstarter. But these are some pieces. Look at this guy. Oh, cool. Ooh. Is that the river this, troll? This is the uh, river troll conversion. Does he got? Yes, that's the river troll conversion. Okay, very good. Here we go. And then we have also the cave troll conversion. Ah, very cool. So uh, yeah, very happy with these. These will be coming out um, soon. Uh, they almost made it to the pledge manager, but I don't think they were going to make it to the pledge manager. Um, here's something else. Here's this is really cute. Check this out, Bobby. How'd they miss the pledge manager? Well, I'll oh, tell you about it later. Funny. They got oh, printed at the wrong size. But you know what? Oh, they're cute. <laughs> they look pretty good at this size. That's you know, really, they're really cool. cool. They're little troll babies. So. Um, <laughs> Daryl wouldn't clean them up, and so they look really good. So I'm trying to see if I have that anything else on my desk I can show that's kind of uh, Bobby Jackson esque that hasn't been seen. Nope, you've seen everything. That's about it. All so. right. Have you guys printed the little goats from the bridge? Yes, they're printed. Uh, no, yeah. no, Bobby. We don't need a mark. <laughs> we do. We need a mark. But we left Mark behind. <laughs> we'll save Mark. <laughs> Do I need to mail these goats to Frank? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. We'll mail them to Rhonda, make her paint Mark, and then have her mail it to Frank. All right. 
our shop. All right, we can do that. Ronnie, get your goat paints ready. Speaking of Mark, by the way, um, since this show is nearing its uh, its end, um, not permanently, just for the day, uh, oh. we have Reaper Errant coming on here in about thirty minutes or so. So we're going to have to jet here, get these, uh, get the talent here up into their dressing rooms and all powdered up and ready to go. Your hair fixed. Uh, yep. Ex- excluding excluding Ron, of course. Because you know what I got to do? I got to do a, a Kickstarter update. That's what I'll be working on next. You just did it. We're good, right? No. Oh, okay. This has to go out to the thousands and thousands of Kickstarter backers who don't watch this show. Unfortunately, they Wait, should. we don't have thousands of people watching right now? Hey, uh, guys, go tell your friends. Go tell thousands. your friends we do these. Yeah. Y'all need to go tell everyone who's watching. You know, or If you're watching, tell your friends who aren't watching. You need to come watch the Kickstarter updates, the Bones 5 updates, every other Friday here on Twitch. And so, while they're at it, watch all of our other shows, too. Watch everything else, too, of course, yes. Yeah. But this show especially. Uh, well, Rhonda and Bobby, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, and helping out with the Bones 5 Live update. Really appreciate it. Um, the next update will be just is it in two weeks. I guess it is in two weeks. It is. It will be... Yeah, because it resyncs up as of so as re-synced. of today, it's now resynced up with Reaper Errant until so July. Uh, excuse me, August seventh, Friday, right. August seventh is the next Bones Five update, and then Reaper uh, 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 Reaper Errant will be that that same day as well. So right. anyway, guys, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it, Rhonda. Now you can go cook your dinner and eat it before you get killed playing D and D tonight. <laughs> um, Bobby, yeah, that's thanks a bad. So much. <laughs> Sorry, before you go slay everyone and take their treasure. That's Bobby, right. thanks for letting us take a close look at your sculpts today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. My pleasure. That was a lot of fun. Yes, real quick, everyone that's here, we're not going to raid anybody, so hang around. Um, and also, Elwendell, we did talk about the airbrush. We're going to be giving some away, actually, next Thursday. Um, Thursday. And you don't have to go to YouTube. You can just watch the VOD here on Twitch. Okay, go ahead, Rhonda. Sorry. Rhonda? Rhonda? Did you, Rhonda, did you want to say anything? Oh, Rhonda, no. Oh, Rhonda, no. did you mute yourself? Rhonda, you're, you're deaf. You're, we can't hear you. No, no, she can hear us. I don't think we can hear her. We can't hear her. Oh, I did. I did there hear we go. myself somehow. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. So well, just, you guys go kick ass uh, on repair tonight. Justin, thanks for everything. Guys, appreciate it again. And we'll see you guys next time on the Bones 5 Live Update. Thank you guys very much. Let's... Uh, Let's hit this outro, Ron. Let's do it. Outro, go. Make it so.